boy. You went by the on the Parce que vous Je connais les plus hip hop parler, hip hop comprendre. Parce que hip hop c'est l'amour, c'est la vie. Et n'a toujours comprendre les potes qui l'ont. Yeah, you are the key of life. Duct tape for my heartbreak. Some call you me or more. I swear I need you more. Cause when I hear these modern frequencies, my heart aches. But then I what I what I give to the world through my music is me. You know, what I've learned or uh, what I've studied that people before me have done and the message that they were trying to get across. I can just take that and you know format it in a way that works for me and it's something that I'm familiar with and I understand and, and that's what I can get to the world. You the girl who gets me high. We can be forever. Have a shorty name in Malachi. I remember when we first met. Saw you blasting out those speakers. You were so fresh. Hip hop is a, is a culture. MCing, the b-boy and b-girl, the graph writing, and the DJ. You know, it's an entire culture. I got started listening to hip hop in the 80s. Um, really started out listening to a lot of jazz, you know, riding in the car with my pops because he ain't really let me listen to hip hop. But I first, first, my first encounter with it was down here on the radio with uh, LL Cool J uh, going back to Cali and the Beastie Boys, Brass Monkey. You know, that was the first time I heard it down here in Tallahassee on the radio. Um, and that's when I fell in love with it. So that had to be like 85, you know, 86. So, so I fell in love with hip hop in the mid 80s at a young age. Got a box tape. Yeah. I'm a cassette tape generation baby. You know? Matter of fact, all my, all my, all my people I hang with. You know what I'm saying? We cassette can't tape. Let my tape rock till my tape pop. Like. Yeah, if you old school, you know this a pop. <laughs> you know this a pop. <laughs> Wait, hold up, that's a bad plan. You trying to make me run the streets like a madman. I ain't about to let them put me on a slab, man. I'd rather be in Africa in that shaft stance, you know. I'm a black American, you know, so that's what I know. That's what I can speak on. I, I can speak on what I see and the things that I've been through in my culture. And that's what I'm trying to get across to everybody you know somebody in France might have no type of understanding of what it's like to be a black American I grow up being black in America so in a lot of my music I try to paint that picture because that's something that I know I can't tell you about having a million dollars and being in a hot tub with six different chicks cuz I don't know that I don't do that kind of stuff you know? really got some big nerve build a house that we we'll probably never live in search warrant said we got to let the pigs in and when you lie to yourself then people will eventually figure it out you know so being 100% genuine is always number 1 this year oldest It's definitely, definitely a powerful, powerful platform for anybody to express themselves. And as long as you have creative people in the world, you'll always have hip hop. I met a chick named Sierra with a diamond ring. I told her, take me to your leader. She said, meet the queen. But we gotta make a stop so you can meet the bling. I got a fetish for this rock, love those shiny things. I take the little boys and get them guns. I teach them how to kill, now they do it for fun. I'm chopping off an arm and I leave them with one. Bust a shot in the air, watch the people run. So many carrots in my garden that the rabbits won't leave. Seen so many things that they just don't see. I wonder why nobody wants to tell on me. Breeding weapons of destruction, picking up my speed. Seeing gallons of blood, where's the love? Nobody is a G when compared to us. He's seven years old and prepared to bust. You better get your head ready and prepared to bust. Sierra Leone.